in order to access BCMS, open the web browser such as Google Chrome and type localgov.ie. Click on the green button BCMS and then click on Login. Log in to your account using your email and password, then click on the button Login. To add a new notice, find the tab My Notices and click on the link plus New Notice. Click on the button New Notice in front of the desired notice. In this case, New Commencement Notice without compliance documentation. Start filling the notice details by picking the proper local authority on the local authority drop down list. After picking the local authority, define the commencement date for the notice. It should be between 14 and 28 days from now. Define also the proposed end date for this phase. If you pick yes, on the next field, is planning permission required for these works? A new field is going to show up in front of it, where you can add the planning permission number or the planning permission exemption part 5. If you pick no, the field disappears. Add a relevant project name, describing the works involved and the project's location. In this case, extension to year of single story dwelling at Example Avenue. Choose the activity type, in this case, other works extension to a building. On the description, you can further explain the works involved. In this case, extension at first floor level to side and rear works to include a porch and lowering of windows to front and external insulation. Inform the total number of buildings covered by this commencement notice plus the new buildings involved. Then inform just the number of new buildings. You can search for the location by address or air code. If the activity type is new building, searching by air code is not possible. You can find the air code by clicking on the link underneath the field air code. Inside of the website, you can search by address until you find the air code. Once the air code is found, copy the value and paste it back on the air code field and then click on search by air code. Check on the map if the location is correct. If you want, you can drag the red pin until you correct the location. If the air code search is not possible, you can type address, town and county and then click on search by address. The same search is going to be applied. After you finish, click and save and continue. You will notice that the first tab, project particulars, is green, meaning that it is completed. If you need to change any information, click on Edit at the bottom of the tab. You can save the changes or click on Cancel to go back to the previous page. Click on the second tab called Online Assessment and add the first building on this notice by clicking on the button Add Building. Start by adding the building name or a brief description of the building. If you need some help filling the field, hover your mouse on the widget in front of it. If the work involves a protected structure or national monument, you will have to inform its reference number. Otherwise, select No. If applicable, inform the Fire Safety Certificate and the Disability Access Certificate numbers.
Select all the type of building or works involved. Select more than one if necessary. Select all the proposed use of the buildings and the subgroups involved. This next field might be different depending on the subgroup selected. In this case, it describes the dwelling house type. Then, define the number of buildings of this same building type. Inform if the works are being carried out on behalf of an approved housing body or a local authority. Then, inform all the type of construction materials involved in this application. Inform if the load-bearing structure is prefabricated off-site or not, and the number of stories above ground level, as well as below ground level. Now you need to inform the height. If you don't know how to measure the height, hover your mouse on the tooltip in front of the field, and you'll have instructions on how to measure the height of the construction. Note that it should be informed in meters. After, inform the height of the top floor. If the construction has only one floor, it's the same as the height. The total floor area of the building or works should be informed. Again, on the tool chip in front of the field, you will have a great deal of information on how to measure the area. Inform the number of rooms, bedrooms, and toilets in this construction. Now for the part A, structure. Select the consequence class. The tool chip in front of the field can help you with the selection. Inform if a specialist engineered foundation is required and if the works or the building involves a balcony. For the part B fire, define if there are compartments or separating walls required and if a cladding or curtain wall has been proposed. For part C, you need to appoint if the site is located in an area of high radon. In order to check that, there is a map on the helper in front of the field, and you can also use a website on the bottom to find your exact location. The website you can navigate to the map. or choose by county, town, and even specify your address. After finding your exact location, check the level on the map and inform if the site is located in an area of high radon. On part D, materials and workmanship, you will inform if the proper materials are being used and they are fit for the location, and if the construction is conducted in a workmanlike manner. On part E, you will inform if resistance to impact and airborne sound are required. On part F, you will inform if the proper means of ventilation and excessive condensation prevention has been provided. On part G, inform how the drinking water is going to be provided to the site. After, inform how the surface water and the foul water will be drained from the site.
on part J, you will inform the types of heat producing appliances. If there is none, click on the last option, none. Also inform the primary location of the fuel storage. If there is none, choose the last option, not applicable. On part K, you will inform if the adequate provision for guarding stairs, ladders, floors and balconies are provided. On part L, you will inform if the specifications based on GEAP and NEAP have been completed. And finally, on part M, inform if adequate provisions have been made for people to access the facilities. Finish by clicking on Save and Continue. That will bring you back to the home page, and you can see that the online assessment tab is now completed and marked as green. You can check your building and make amendments if needed by clicking on Edit, or even delete it by clicking on Delete. The next tab is Phasing. It is only applicable for projects where the proposed use of the building is of the type residential. After clicking on Edit, define the total number of phases, the phase for this notice, the total number of dwelling units on all phases, total number of multiple units in all phases, and the total number of dwelling units for this phase. Confirm by clicking on Save and Continue. Click on the tab Nominate Roles and click on Edit to start adding the roles. First is the owner role. If you are the owner, click on the bottom on the tick box Assign myself to this role, and you're going to be automatically assigned. If you want to nominate someone else for any other role, add their email addresses on the field email. Note that they should have created an account in BCMS beforehand. After adding the email address, the first name and last name will be automatically added. The same can be done for designer, and assigned certified. All the nominated persons will receive an email to accept or reject their roles. The roles that are assigned to yourself will be automatically accepted. Finish by clicking on Save and Continue. Note that only the owner role is accepted. In order to finish this tab, all the nominated persons should accept their roles. Once everyone accepted their roles, the tab will go green. And now, we will add statutory documents. Click on the download button in front of the commencement notice. A PDF document template will be downloaded to your machine. You will then need to print this document, sign on the bottom, scan it and upload it again on the system. To start uploading documents, click on Edit at the bottom of the page. Click on the button Choose File on the statutory documents to find the document on your computer. Define the type of the document in front of it and click on Upload. Different types of certificates require different types of documents. For this certificate, only the commencement notice is required. The tab is now green. For this type of notice, supporting documents aren't necessary, so the tab is already green. Payment is now the last step. Click on the Payment tab.
add your credit card details such as name, card type, card number, CV2 number and expiry date. When finished, click on Pay and Submit Notice. The application is now submitted to the local authority and changes cannot be made anymore, except adding documentation. The local authority will review your submission and you will receive notifications by email. If you encounter issues using the BCMS, please contact the relevant Building Control Authority or, alternatively, email support at nbco.gov.ie.